Alright, hey guys, this is episode 2 of my night spider hunt. Courtesy of the book hunters. So enjoy. Alright, uh, last episode I didn't get to finish it. So this episode, hopefully, I'll be able to finish it with a much better flashlight. This really bright LED tiny flashlight. It'll do just fine. Alright. <clears throat> Everyone's out today, even my cat. Dog. We're actually gonna look in the uh, same areas too. Alright, we got our first spider here. Can't really identify this one, so um, please tell me what spider this is. It's black. It's got a weird pattern on its abdomen. It's female. No pedipulps. And uh, it doesn't seem like it's been wet. It spins webs. I haven't really seen this movie. I haven't really seen this spider. So, yeah, please let me know what this spider is. Thanks. There's one there, too. Please tell me what spider that is, too. It's kind of different. But uh, they look alike. <laughs> Got a black widow here? See the egg sac there and the female's legs. Cool. Alright, so. Ooh, check that out. Wow, look at that. It's a uh, black widow here. But it's not a widow yet, because as you can see, there's a female and there's a male. It's got better pops. That has to be the male. So it's not a black widow yet. And it's also got an egg sac too. So once that egg sac hatches, he's gonna be gone. Yep. There's another spider there. Not sure, I don't think that's a black widow. It looks kind of different. <sighs> cicada's freaking me out. I don't even know if it's a cicada or not, but it's making some weird noise. So yeah, please tell me what that is too. I'm surprised you don't really know what it is. And uh we got a black widow here. This one's female, obviously. Females are always the biggest. Got lots of spiders around here. Ooh, my mom turned on the light. Awesome. Hey, look, there's a spider right there. Oh no, that's just it. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Cool. Oh, web there. Maybe a spider. Maybe I'll feed this earwig to something. Not my funnel web. He's actually eating an earwig right now. Poor smashed spider. Forgot who smashed it, but it's uh, pretty dead for a long time. There's one too. So you can see they're pretty much all over around the house. Up there. Usually around areas like these too. <clears throat> Hi, Mom. Don't film me Mom. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't show your face. To web up there. Now entering the dark hole. Now this place, some people think it's creepy, but I think it's pretty fine. It's filled with spiders. But right now I see zero. Nope. Don't see any around here. Spider Topia over here. Alrighty, there's nothing here. Okay, so we're gonna look around the pool because we didn't get to last episode. Yeah, 
to go trail advance there. Should be some spiders around this ladder. Ah, nope. No spiders around here. I'm surprised I'm even looking for spiders. I'm an entomologist. I don't study spiders. I study insects. Spiders are not insects. They are arachnids. And no, I don't have arachnophobia. I wouldn't be able to do this if I had arachnophobia. There's a web there, but there's nothing on it. There's even some uh, some webs on the <clears throat> on the pool there, as you can see. Yeah, there's been a lot of different spiders lately. That moth. Whoa, that's a big one. Look at that. That's pretty big. Nice. Here's one area. Where I thought there'd be a lot of spiders, but now that we got the flashlight, we might be able to see right between there. Nope, not nothing much. I don't really see anything, but got a spider there. See him? He's like dangling down. Usually there's a lot of spiders under trash cans too. Yep. All right, now that you can see one, this spider here, you guys know as the daddy long leg. Well, um, let me get something straight here. These type of spiders aren't really called daddy long legs. Daddy long legs are actually not spiders. So daddy long legs are actually crane flies and uh, damsel flies. But this type of spider is actually called a cellar spider. And a myth about them is that when they try to pierce your skin with their fangs, is that their fangs are too small to penetrate our skin. Well, actually, that's wrong. Their fangs can penetrate our skin, but their venom is too weak to um, affect us. So that's pretty much where I need to get off my chest about those things. Ooh, we have a good find. Orb weaver spider. Wow, this one looks awesome. Hold on, let me get to zoom in a little bit. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Orb weaver. Looks like a... Reminds me of some white tiger spider. Like most spiders, they don't just stay in their web all day. Watch this. See how they get scared and they get in little huts like that? That's like the little hiding spot. It's where they chill. Cool, you got to see an orb weaver spider. The sound of crickets fills the air. And cicadas. Garden snail. Bigger garden snail. What's that? Oh, would you look at that? Can you see it? There it is. Giant orb weaving spider. Check that out. It's got something too. It's wrapping it. Ooh, I need to get this. Ah, oh, stupid camera. It's starting to, uh, there. Freaking camera keeps blurring out. Damn. Look at him. Vicious orb weaver spider. Another garden snail. Or 
or believers are awesome looking spiders. I'm not sure if you can see his web. Highly doubt it. No, you can't really see its web, but it's huge. I can't see it. I could see it, but it's like really huge. I wish you guys could. Oh, here we go. You can see a little bit of it. See it? I just kind of need to... There, you kind of see it a little bit. One of those perfect looking webs that like someone like Spider-Man spins. See it? It's really cool. Giant orc weaving spider. Get pretty close to it. It's a male too. Has pedipalps. Awesome. Cool, so uh got to see an orb weaver spider. Maybe I'll be able to feed it this earwig. Don't forget my fun web weaver too. Awesome fun web weaver. It's actually eating one right now. I think I already told you guys that. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and try to feed this orb weaver spider this uh, earwig. And uh, sorry this video has to be too long. But uh, you can skip it any time, and you probably did. Okay, so I got my uh, tweezers here, and I'm just going to go ahead and drop it on the web. Hopefully it doesn't fall. I'll take off my uh, my stuff. Alright. Let's uh, try this out. I don't know how I'm going to do this, because I'm going to have to hold the camera while I'm doing this. This is going to be pretty hard. I think, oh, here we go. I could just have the flashlight like this. There, perfect. Awesome. Now all I need to do is grab this earwig. Oh, God, this might take a while. I would just pick him up with my hands. Alright, I got him. Little earwig. Alright, here we go. Feeding an orb weaver spider an earwig. Awesome. Alright, here we go. Alright, he's getting it. And got it. Cool. I like how he auto he's like spinning its web on it like so fast. I think that's awesome. How they uh, do that stuff. I did put a little, a uh, little minor dent in his web, but I'm sure that's not a big problem as him, as long as he's uh, captured his food. All right, I only have like one minute left of the camera battery, so I think I'm gonna have to uh, turn off the camera wrap this up. Speaking of wrap it up, check out that earwig. He's the one who's literally wrapped up. Wow. That's why I love, love these type of spiders. These ones are the real ones that are known for wrapping their prey. I did. I kind of messed up his web a little bit, I have to admit, but it's alright. I'm sure you would willing to agree with that sacrifice in order to find food. Alright guys, this is the Bug Hunters. Sorry for the video having to be so long, but um... At least I got to feed an orb weaver. <laughs> Alright guys. Thanks for watching, uh, see you later.